Thanks to MPB for sponsoring today's video. This is the Fujifilm X-G30 and in a lot of ways this might be the most important camera I've ever owned. First, this camera kind of started the pipe dream YouTube photography thing I've got going on here. <laughs> and secondly, it made me fall in love with street photography, which now is one of my favorite things, right next to pasta. It's not like I had a choice though, I'm a university student. like. What else am I gonna cook? In my last XT30 video, I went to Vegas and saw the fake Eiffel Tower. So this time I finally went to see another fake one they had built in Shenzhen, China. No, just kidding. <laughs> this time we're going to see the real deal in Paris. By the way, all of these images from Paris were edited with my Cinematic Street Essentials Lightroom preset pack. If you want to help me keep this channel running while also getting some super nice presets for yourself, I'm gonna leave a hefty discount code for you at the link down in the description. This is exactly where the Fujifilm X-T30 is in its element. It's just the perfect walk around the city and explore camera because it really packs a punch while coming in a tiny package, just like my... Fujifilm X106 that I have here. This is also an amazing camera, but not a lot of people know this. The X-T30's body is actually a decent bit smaller than the X106 or X100V, and it's like a third of the price. Of course, the portability of the X-T30 directly correlates to how chonky the lenses you stick in front. That's why the XF 27mm and the XC 35mm are my favorite lenses for this camera. They offer really good optical performance while still keeping the XT30 super small and light. On this day in Paris, the XC 35 with a DIY mist filter was my weapon of choice. Here's a quick rundown if you don't know this trick. First, buy the cheapest UV filter that fits your lens. Step 2, steal your spouse's hairspray. Step 3, give the outside of the filter a short spray at a distance of about 3 bananas. Congrats, you now have a mist filter and just saved yourself like a hundred bucks. <laughs> Step four, run, because somebody just realized you stole their hairspray.
pro tip, I had French in school for four years, twice a week, but still can't speak French to save my life. So I just got myself a French girlfriend who orders my food for me like I'm a five-year-old. At this point we headed up a big tower to watch the sunset, but I totally forgot to film us getting there, or the tower, or us going up the tower. Yeah, you'd think after a while of doing this I would be better at making these videos. No. <laughs> The sunset was absolutely beautiful and generally we were just super lucky with the weather on this day and Paris is just insanely beautiful. Who would have thought? I had no idea. Paris really is underrated. Yeah, and it wasn't crowded at all. <laughs> Okay, let's get back to the X-T30. This camera kind of embodies everything that Fujifilm is great at. It has a bunch of physical dials, despite its super tiny size. This allows you to quickly change settings while you're shooting, and is generally just more satisfying than scrolling menus. Additionally, the X-Trans 4 sensor has that really nice Fujifilm color signs everybody loves, and of course it has film simulations. Yeah, don't lie to me, I know that you're here just because of the film simulations. Personally, I don't use film simulations much anymore. Don't get me wrong, they are awesome, and having a workflow where you literally have to spend zero time editing is perfect for so many people, because you can spend more time living life instead of sitting in front of a computer. But I just prefer the flexibility I get with shooting raw, and honestly I kind of enjoy editing photos. Wait, does that mean I live less life? Another thing about the X-T30 that is so simple but is one of my absolute favorite features of this camera is its built-in pop-up flash. This is a small camera, I want to take it everywhere and especially use it to take photos when I'm spending time with friends. Having that little flash on there goes such a long way and allows you to keep taking photos when it's dark. Also I just add my disposable vibes presets to easily get that 90s nostalgic film look. I always get the question, should I get the X-T30 or the X-T32? I've used both and the differences between the two are pretty minimal, so I would just flip a coin. No, just kidding. The X-T32 has two more settings for the film simulations, a slightly upgraded screen and increases the 4K video recording limit from 10 minutes on the original to 30 minutes. It really just depends on whether or not those little upgrades are important enough for you to pay a bit extra for the second version. The increased recording limit might be important if you plan on doing video, but if you want to focus on video I would probably look elsewhere. This really is a more photography focused camera. The video quality is pretty good, but all of the footage I filmed with it always turned out pretty shaky because it's just so small and light and it doesn't have a stabilized sensor so everything I filmed with it just yeah, it turns out pretty shaky. But you know what isn't shaky? The dependable folks over at MPB. If you haven't heard about them, MPB is an awesome platform for buying and selling used camera gear. And I've been using them for years already before they approached me to sponsor this video. I do almost all of my gear shopping on MPB nowadays because you can save a ton of money compared to buying new. But you don't have to deal with sketchy sellers or buyers and you also get a warranty on the used gear you buy. Two years ago I actually bought the X-T30 and the X-T30. 35mm f2 on MPB, the exact same setup I now took to Paris. I bought it because I wanted a smaller and lighter everyday camera that was more portable and fun than my Sony full frame gear. I'm super glad I pulled the trigger on it back then because this camera made me fall in love with street photography and just had a huge impact on my work in general. MPB is focused on putting cameras in as many people's hands as possible, all while being sustainable. Their entire business is 100% circular, their packaging is 100% plastic free, Wait, I actually got a box from them down here. Yeah, um, I order a lot from MPB. <laughs> See? No plastic. And they're aiming to reach net zero carbon for all of their buildings by 2025. If you're interested in learning more, you can use the links down in the description and let them know I've sent you. And now, let's get to my verdict on the X-T30. The 
The XT30 was originally released in the beginning of 2019, making it over five years old now. And since then, Fujifilm has of course released a whole plethora of new cameras. So, do I still recommend it? five years later and after its successor the X-T50 has been released. Yeah, I totally do, for one very simple reason, there really is no competitor for it. The thing that just makes this camera so good even several years after release is that it just sits in a perfect sweet spot like no other Fujifilm camera, price-wise and feature-wise. All of the new Fujifilm cameras have fancy features like the newest 40 megapixel stabilized sensor, but Honestly, for the way I use my X-T30, the 26 megapixel it offers is perfect. The image quality is great, even for prints, and the file sizes are much lower. But the biggest plus is still the price. It's the cheapest out of the previous generation Fuji cameras, and all of the new generation Fujis are much more expensive. And I get why Fujifilm is doing it. They have so much demand right now that they would rather focus on more premium cameras than budget cameras when they can't satisfy the demand anyways. That leaves the entire budget Fujifilm sector wide open, and the X-T30 still just perfectly fits in there and probably will for the next couple of years. For most people that don't need the super fancy features, this is still the best Fujifilm camera. Okay, that's it for today. Go watch another video or I will steal all of your hairspray cans to mass produce mist filters. Goodbye. <laughs>